It's only one week until the start of hurricane season. Mm. It is time for the Berardelli bonus. So these are the forecasts from a lot of the official places for hurricane season in terms of named storms, and the average is 14. NOAA, we just told you, forecasting about 21. CSU, about 23. European, we talk about the European computer model, 23. The UK Met Service, 22. And the University of Pennsylvania, definitely the highest by far, 33. Back in 2020, we had 30 named storms, so it's not out of the realm of possibilities, but it seems unlikely. So why are they forecasting so much hurricane activity this upcoming season? We are record hot in the central and eastern Atlantic. We are record hot in the Caribbean. We are record hot here in the Gulf of Mexico. Also, we're changing over from El Nino to La Nina. During La Nina, we have 60% more named storms, 80% more hurricanes, and 100% more major hurricanes. But what about landfalls in the United States? I'll step out of this picture so you can see it. Look at the difference between dots in El Nino right here and this being a neutral year, and this being a La Nina, La Nina produces about three times more landfalls in the U.S. and about four times more economic damage. All right, so when are we going to finally see some activity in the Atlantic Basin? Well, we have a large area of rising air across Indonesia. That's going to make its way across the Pacific Ocean. It'll be right on top of the Caribbean at the beginning of June. So sometime in the beginning of June or the middle of June, there is potential development right in that area right there in the Caribbean. Now, let's talk about what happens during uh, the month of June. And to do that, we're going to bring in meteorologist Rebecca Barry, and she's going to be talking about where storms typically form during this time of year as we head towards hurricane season and then the beginning of hurricane season. Yes, even without that massive rising air that you just pointed out, it is the Gulf that is the target in June for formation, so that's going to line up perfectly with the potential for development. That's right. So we do think we'll probably see something happen in the, about the first week or two of June somewhere in the Caribbean, give or take. If you want to send me a question, send it there, weather at WFLA.com.